Okay, here's a little preview of the Little Wolf game demo, what we have so far. Alright, here's a Little Wolf, and uh, she's been waiting for us to start the game. Okay, here's how the game opens. It has a little bit of music. This music is something that I picked out. It just seemed like a nice way to start. <laughs> I'm still contemplating if I'm gonna change it to a more customized music or gameplay music. But the idea here is just for me to set the sound to feel uh, relaxing because this game is more of an exploratory game than it is a, a fighting game or a strategic game. But you can actually stop the music from playing, which will do that now so that you can hear me better. So we have here on the left hand, lower left, the different controls. So we've got a sniff and a howl. Let's try to sniff. Okay, so right away we see some colored, color-coded sniff trails. I uh, will just try to show you how this works. Obviously, it's supposed to guide us. But while we're on this mode, there's no way to run or sprint. But if I press J again, we can follow the trail on a sprint. However, the scent trails disappear after a few seconds. So you have to be quick to follow them and also <laughs> to adjust the camera angle. It's a bit disorienting when you change camera angles. But I like how you just slowly get comfortable with the controls and... Oh, here we go! Hello! Oh no. Where do they go now? Ah, uh, when the screen turns a little bit red, that's a no-go zone. Here we go, let's go up close and see if they're gonna run away from me. Hello, little one. They're not scared of me. Um, uh, there's no, there's no bite. <laughs> or nip. Alright, now that we've seen the deer, I think it's time to go look for the hare. This really just the hare and the deer. Oh look at that! It's already one out of three. So, uh, all you have to do is make them run and you've accomplished it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the final gameplay for that task, but um, that's how it is for now. Alright, let's go and find the hare. We need to go back to that intersecting scent trails. I'm a little bit more familiar with the environment now and a couple of scent trails because I, I've, I've spent some time playing this <laughs> past my bedtime. So let's go follow this green green trail. Let's see. All right. In the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep moving. Keep moving here. And then it's easy to feel lost and get lost again here. <laughs> Which is perfect because that's exactly what the book is about. It's uh, finding your way around your environment and where you need to go, what you need to do. Follow your nose. Okay, 
Let me just move the camera so that it's facing Little Wolf's line of sight. Mm, something's itchy. She keeps scratching. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, I just need <laughs> the line of sight. The general direction. I'll go sprint for it. This is no way to sprint while you're in the scent sniff mode. Okay, where is it now? Where is it? I can't find it. Although, when I was playing this past my bedtime, because I was determined to find the hair, <laughs> it took me a while. But I do remember it was it was near some boulders. So I think we're in the right in the right place. There we go. It says stock. Yeah. This is how I remember it. The there were a lot of bushes, and yeah, at the time I, I didn't know where I was going, and I just assumed the hair would be somewhere here, hidden here, because it's so thick, but eventually I came across a visual cue that reminded me of my own book, <laughs> the the part in the wolf in the hair the moment right before little wolf spots the hair if you remember she was walking over some fallen trees tree trunks some logs and the game developers they didn't they just sent me this link they didn't tell me anything about how they mapped out the world or how the game was going to go. So everything is is a novelty and for me to discover and how to figure things out on my own, which is lovely because then you feel lost <laughs> most of the time, exactly like Little Wolf, the character. Uh, she's much too playful, though, to, to <coughs> give up. So, this visual cue that I saw were the tree trunks, <laughs> which is that one right there in front of us. Let me just adjust the camera angle. There, right in the little wolf's line of sight there. When I saw that, and that reminded me of the book, oh, this is the hair now. <laughs> and I said, this must be here for a reason. And... True enough, when I when I saw the, those logs, those tree trunks, I saw the hair. <laughs> that was quite, was quite nice of them to pay attention to that detail. All right, you have to be quiet now. I know he can't hear me, but it just seems appropriate to whisper. Okay, let's follow. Where is he going? Oh, sh I can't see ya. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You see, this is, this is hard. This is the, the skill part where you really have to change the camera angle. Oh, there he is. There he is. What's he doing? <laughs> he looks funny. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. You see that red tint there is supposed to signal that it's a no-go zone. This hair here. Oh no, he spotted me. Okay, I don't know how that's supposed to end, but it's going to take us hours to figure this out together. <laughs> but that's not the purpose of this video. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little preview of what we have so far. Uh, hunt the rabbit. 
<laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be the hair. I'm gonna tell them, ask them to uh, update that to hair because the rabbit has short limbs. <laughs> okay, and it says here hunt. Ah, oh. are we gonna be able to have a little bite? I don't know. Okay, now let's go find the pack. There's a little clue here that's, uh, that was quite apparent earlier on because I pressed the, the H button <laughs> just to see what's going to happen. Alright, so it triggers uh, the camera to uh, shift towards the den to give you a clue on its location. So now that we know roughly where it is you see it now from afar. We just have to run towards that direction. You see these these trees, uh, I and bushes. I had to draw them and create new versions because uh, in, in the game demo trailer, I just provided them with uh, direct scans from. from the book, which is quite tiny. <laughs> so now they're at a better size and resolution. And the most recent asset that I sent them was actually uh, the textures for the distant mountain. You see there? The blue mountain from afar. Yeah, that's quite nice because that's exactly how I drew it in the book. The more distant mountains were in blue color. Just to give that atmospheric change in color temperature. All right, where are we now? <laughs> I could press the howl button, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere here. I know there's a boulder here. There we go. Let's see, let's try to go up there. See if it triggers anything. Ah. <laughs> Let's see. I noticed this little wolf looks like she's in roller skates or walking on ice. Uh, there's a bit of sliding effect. Whoa. Yeah, I wanted to go to the bigger boulder. But I could really see the den there. Let's just see what happens if we howl from from this part. If it triggers anything. Okay. <laughs> they answer back. Let's just go get a closer look. <laughs> There's a bit of a build up here with the sounds. Little wolf is uh, walking on boots, uh, heeled boots. <laughs> it's quite funny. to do. Aww, the little uh, silhouette there that they put. <laughs> okay, so that's a, a little preview. Alright, so that's what we have so far with the little wolf game demo. As you can see, the world's expanded quite a bit, and also there's a lot more to see in the environment. 
although there's still a few things that need polishing up, like the sound design and also the actual gameplay, where in some areas it's a bit unclear what you need to do to be able to execute the task effectively, and also I had recently created some new assets uh, for Tactile Studios to apply to the to the deer and the hare, although they have shown me the 3D models of each, so I got to see it on the 3D model already. They just have to apply it to the game build. We initially intended this to be done by end of October, but something came up, so we had to protract that a little bit. But I'm pretty sure the game will be ready before Christmas. So stay tuned for that, and I'll keep you posted.